language arts. We just completed, and I'm going to put it in front so you can do it as well. The sentence. Let me turn it back a little bit so you can see it. And then I'm going to read soon. So I forgot to put you all on, so I apologize. But we are just doing the sentence. I might take it off the pedestal and just hold it in front. So there is our sentence. I is a pronoun. I crossed out the was. It's a helping verb. You don't have to worry about that. Just is an adverb, and about is an adverb that describes go. Noun is a home is a noun. Without is a preposition. The is an article because it comes before a noun. The and a are always articles that go before a noun. Cup is a noun. Of is a preposition. Sugar is a noun. For is a preposition. My we are not worrying about. Dear is an adjective. Old is an adjective that describe granny. That is actually a possessive noun because it is an apostrophe S, because it describes Granny's birthday cake. Birthday is an adjective, which could be a noun, but it describes what kind of cake the wolf was going to make his Granny, which was a birthday cake. So that is our sentence for this week. I'm going to leave it up there for you just a little bit. The only thing you missed was just our figuring it out. So you can write it on your sheet of paper, leaving spaces before each sentence and writing it. Tomorrow we are going to work on the rewrite, number one. I would like for you to hand these in. I want you to start handing in always these strips, these papers with the strips. I want to see that you are doing this, and I want to see that you are doing it correctly. And I also enjoy reading the sentences. So if you haven't been, some of you have been handing it in regularly, so I thank you for that. If you have not, please start doing so. All right. Let's read a little bit more about our squirrel who just got what? What happened to our poor squirrel? What did he get sucked up into? Poor guy. Grant. Not just any vacuum cleaner, the 2000X. And then he did CPR. <laughs> and then the girl did CPR on the poor squirrel. So let's see what happens to our squirrel. All right. I'm fogging up. Chapter 7. The soul of a squirrel. The squirrel was a little unsteady on his feet. His brain felt larger, roomier. It was as if a several doors in a dark room of his self, doors he hadn't even known existed, had suddenly flung open. Everything was shot through with meaning, purpose, light. However, the squirrel was still a squirrel. And he was hungry, very hungry. So we see a picture. Here is the squirrel. There is the vacuum. He's looking at the vacuum. He's going closer to the vacuum. <gasps> he lifts the vacuum. Ooh. And he is like really excited about lifting the vacuum. What do you think that might mean if he all of a sudden can lift the vacuum. Mm.
All right, so now the squirrel seems to be lifting it up. Why? Hmm, what's going on? Chapter eight, helpful information. Flora and Mrs. Tickham notice at the same time. The squirrel, said Flora. The vacuum cleaner, said Mrs. Tickham. Together, they stared at the Ulysses 2000X and at the squirrel, who was holding it over his head with one paw. That can't be, said Mrs. Tickham. The squirrel shook the vacuum. That can't be, said Mrs. Tickham. You already said that, said Flora. I'm repeating myself. You're repeating yourself. <gasps> Maybe I have a brain tumor, said Mrs. Tickham. It was certainly possible that Mrs. Tickham had a brain tumor. Flora knew from reading Terrible Things Can Happen to You that a surprising number of people were walking around with tumors in their brains and didn't even know it. Emma, wait. This, that was the thing about tragedy. It was just sitting there, keeping you company, waiting, and you had absolutely no idea. This was the kind of helpful information you could get from the comics if you paid attention. The other kind of information that you absorbed from the regular reading of comics, most particularly from the regular reading of The Illuminated Adventures of the Amazing Incandesto, was that impossible things happen all the time. For instance, heroes, superheroes, were born of ridiculous and unlikely circumstances. Spider bites. <gasps> Who had a spider bite? Peter? What superhero became a superhero because of a spider bite? I would, can't believe that everybody doesn't know this. Grayson. Not what I was thinking. Jeremiah. Spider-Man. Spider -Man. Oh, let's see. Where did I leave off? Chemical spills, planetary dislocation, in the case of Alfred T. Slipper from accidental submersion in the industrial sized vat what? of cleaning solution called Incandesto. The cleaning professional's hand, hard working friend. I don't think you have a brain tumor, said Flora. There might be another explanation. Uh huh, said Mrs. Tickman. What's the other exp explanation? Have you ever heard of incandesto? What? Said Mrs. Con Tickman. Who, said Flora, incandesto is a who. He's a superhero. Right, said Mrs. Tickham. And your point is? Flora raised her right hand. She pointed with a single finger to at the squirrel. Surely you're not implying, said Mrs. Tickham. The squirrel lowered the vacuum cleaner to the ground. He held himself very still. He considered both of them. His whiskers twitched and trembled. There were cracker crumbs on his head. It probably came from the vacuum cleaner. <laughs> he was a squirrel. Could he be a superhero too? Alfred T. Slipper was a janitor. Most of the time, people looked right past him. Sometimes, often in fact, they treated him with disdain, which means they treated him not nice. They had no idea of the astonishing acts of heroism, the blinding light contained within his outward humdrum disguise. Only Alfred's parakeet, Dolores, knew who he was and what he could do. The world will misunderstand him, said Flora. You bet it will, said Mrs. Tickham. Tootie? shouted Mr. Tickham from the back door. Tootie, I'm hungry. That sounds familiar. <laughs> Tootie? What a ridiculous name. Flora couldn't resist the urge to say it out loud. Tootie, she said. Tootie Tickham. Listen, Tootie, go inside, feed your husband, say nothing to him or to anyone else about any of this. Right said Tootie, saying nothing. Feed my husband, okay, right. She began walking slowly toward the house. Mr. Tickham called out, are you done vacuuming? What about the Ulysses? Are you just going to leave it sitting there? Ulysses, whispered Flora. She felt a shiver run from the back of her head to the base of her spine. She might be a natural born cynic 
but she knew the right word when she heard it. Ulysses, she said again. She bent down and held out her hand to the squirrel. Come here, Ulysses, she said. So our title is Flora and what? So that is how Ulysses and Flora met. So do you think he becomes a superhero? Yeah. No. No, no. We're going to find out. You did? On Disney Plus? Is it a t is it a movie or a TV show? Um, movie. <gasps> so when I'm done reading this, we'll all have to watch the movie. Super fun. So friends, this is, is being made into a movie on Disney Plus, just so you know. But don't watch it yet. You got to finish the book. Okay? Don't watch it because that'll spoil the book. All right.